Skittles. You want to make them? I want to make a blender tutorial. Let's work together to accomplish our goals and move towards something that we are proud of creating together. I'm going to make my first blender tutorial and you're going to make your first blender Skittles. So let's get it. Start by opening up Blender. Create a new project file and delete the default cube. Click Shift A, go to Mesh, and select UV Sphere. Now press Tab to switch over to Edit Mode and S, Y, and scale down along the Y axis to create a nice Skittle shape. Now we're going to double click, click Shade Smooth. We're going to go over to the Object Data Properties tab and under Normals, select Auto Smooth. Now navigate over to the Shading tab. Now select our object and create a new material. Set the color to red, put the metallic somewhere. I put it at like 0.3 or something, uh, 0.4. I think I put the roughness at about 0.3 just to get it looking kind of glossy and rough at the same time. Just look at a picture of a Skittle and mess with it for a second. Now we shall make our way over to Texture Paint. Press in to bring up the little tool menu if it's not there already and you're going to go to texture slots and press that little plus button, click base color. You can change whatever color it is, but since the principal BSDF that we already had shading the Skittle was already at red, the base color automatically comes out at the same color, so we're just going to leave it for the Skittle. Under brush settings, you can adjust the brush size and opacity and then just draw you an S on that Skittle. Then go back to your 3D workspace. Click Shift D to duplicate the Skittle. Shift A, image, reference image, to go to your download folder and get that picture of all those Skittles you downloaded earlier. And we're gonna use this to figure out what color all the Skittles need to be. Like that new Skittle, go to materials, kill the material we had, create a new material, go over to the other Skittle that we have and just copy the material that's already there, select all the materials, click Command C or Control C, go to the other Skittle, select, and X to delete those materials and then command V or control V to paste the materials from the first Skittle. Now we're going to take this material base color thing on the left that's from the texture painting and we're going to delete that. All right now we're going to get back over to texture paint grab this new Skittle go create a new texture slot base color same thing again just put it to a different color like orange this time um, and then we're just going to do the exact same thing we did last time and draw an S on it. Now you're going to repeat this process another three times until you have a total of five Skittles, a red, purple, green, orange, and yellow. And uh, yeah, and then you're going to go in and delete that reference image because we don't need that anymore. Then we're going to go Shift A, Mesh, select a plane, click S, scale it up a bunch, uh, hit Tab to go over to Edit Mode. We're going to go over here, select the two vertices on the end. Click E to extrude, move them around in space a little bit. Do it a few times till you got a backdrop looking thing. Do the whole shade smoothing thing again, and then go into your camera view and press function F1, and then use the W, A, S, D, Q, and E keys, and the cursor to move around your camera in 3D space in an intuitive fashion so that you can position it at a good angle for your shot. Move all your Skittles into a similar grouped area, grab your background, scale it up some more if you didn't do that earlier, grab each one of your Skittles and rotate them a little bit in a direction just to make them look a little more natural and better. Select all your Skittles, scale them down a little bit, and move them out of frame above the frame. Then select one of your Skittles, go over to the Physics tab, select Rigid Body, and then the only thing you're going to need to change is go down to Collisions, Shape, and select the Mesh option. One by one, select every other one of your Skittles and apply the same physical properties to them. Now select your Backdrop Plane and also add a rigid body to it, but set the type to Passive. And then press Play and watch your be beautiful... What? After watching your CGI candy pleasantly skittle down an invisible hill, select your backdrop, go down to the collision tab, and set its shape to mesh, just like we did with the skittles, and now your physics simulation should work perfectly. Now that you've got one skittle of every color with proper physics, we're going to select them all, press shift D to duplicate them, move them around, rotate them a bunch, do that a bunch of times until you've got a nice floating chunk of skittles right above your camera. 
grab that light, move it wherever you want, click Shift D, duplicate it. I'm going to stick with two of the default lights because they're going to work fine for this. I don't really have to change the light type or any settings. I'm pretty happy with how this looks like that. Go to the render tab. I'm rendering an EV. I selected Bloom. Then we're going to select Screen Space, Reflections, Motion Blur. We're going to select the camera. We're going to go down and check the depth of field box. We're going to put the f-stop at like something really dramatic like 0.2 and then mess with the focus distance until it lines up with the shot and looks good. All right, so then we're going to select the backdrop plane again, go over to its material setting, add a diffuse shader, and I'm going to change the color to this grape type color because I think it looks nice. Well, that looks pretty nice. Is it ready to render? Not quite, but when it does render, we're going to want to make sure we know where it renders to instead of some weird mysterious temporary file. So we're going to go over to the output settings, select the output folder as desktop, and then we're going to go down into the file format, select FFmpeg, go down to encoding and select MPEG4. Now it'll export as an mp4 video instead of like a bunch of pictures or something stupid like that. Go back to that render tab, go all the way down to the color management section. Under look we're going to select high contrast and that's a much crispier image right there. Alright so yeah I'm going to go change the frames to 100 frames so it only exports 100 frames and that's it. Hit command function F12 or whatever you got to do on a Windows computer to render your animation and let's watch it. I think it looks pretty nice. Are those S's accurate? No. Does it actually look like a real on-brand Skittles? No. But it looks like some off-brand Skittles and from far away it would look fine. It's not the spiciest render but I think it's pretty good and hopefully this tutorial was easy to follow along. That's my goal with making tutorials is to make something, something that's very informative and easy to follow along to. I hope you enjoyed this. Please, please subscribe to my channel and let me know what other kind of videos you want to see in the comment section. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Remember, you are loved.